Today on this 2002 Chevrolet Silverado 2500, we're gonna show you how to use an Edge Evolution CTS programmer. Before you start using the Edge Evolution CTS, we strongly recommend that you read through the user guide a couple of times to become familiar with the Evolution and what it can do. In our previous video, we showed you how to install the Edge Evolution CTS. At the end of the video, the programmer requests the activation key. The owner of the truck went on Edge's website, registered the unit, and acquired the activation key so that we can unlock the Evolution CTS and set it up. Once you've activated the Evolution, you're gonna to head to the main menu. We're gonna start putting some information about your vehicle into the system. We've got a Chevrolet Silverado 2500. So we'll select Chevy. And it's now prompting us to make sure that our key is in the on position. Don't start the motor, just turn the key until your accessories come on. With our key on, we're verifying that we are indeed in a GM Chevrolet truck. Select yes. The evolution is gonna go through some processes here of checking the computer and reading some information so it knows how to tune. On the main screen, we have some default gauges already set up. We have our engine coolant temperature at 53 degrees, our RPMs down in the lower left-hand corner that are reading zero because the motor's off, our speedometer, our battery voltage meter, and our boost pressure indicator. Now we're going to head into the main menu. We've got options for programming, diagnostics, maintenance manager, options, and help. The programming section is where we're going to be able to access the tune files that Edge has installed on the Evolution. Through that menu, we'll be able to adjust the computer settings on our truck to increase our power, increase our fuel mileage, or change various options within the computer to suit our driving needs. We can see the various tune files that Edge has included with the Evolution CTS. From here, with this racing version of the Evolution, we can load different tune files to get more performance out of our truck. We'll go back to the main menu. In the diagnostics menu, we'll be able to do several things. One of the very handy features of the Evolution CTS is its ability to read DTC, or diagnostic trouble codes. When your vehicle displays a service engine light, there are usually a set of codes that go with it to help diagnosing the problem. Instead of having to go to a mechanic or an auto parts store to have the computer codes read, the Evolution can do it itself. On GM vehicles, there is a transmission relearn function that will allow the computer to adjust to the new power settings and better operate the transmission. Also within the diagnostics menu is a performance test section that will allow you to estimate your elapsed quarter mile times and various other performance tests. Also within the diagnostics menu is an option for records and injector balance rates. You can learn more about these in the Evolution user guide. The maintenance manager helps you keep track of all the maintenance on your vehicle. Oil changes, transmission fluids, things like this. It'll help keep all your maintenance on track so that you can get the most out of your vehicle. We'll go back to our main menu and we'll take a look at the options menu. The options menu allows you to change several things about the way the CTS works, from the screen layout to how long it takes for the light to dim on the screen. This is where you're gonna go to customize and set up the evolution to suit your needs. We'll go back to our main menu and take a look at the help menu. The help menu is gonna provide a whole bunch of information about the product, your vehicle, as well as tech support tools that you can use to help keep your Edge Evolution working properly. Okay, we're back at our home screen. The truck owner has asked us to install the level one racing tune onto his truck. So we'll enter the main menu, select programming, and select racing level one. And we'll follow the prompts on the screen. The CTS is telling us that this tune file is designed for racing applications only, and it's asking us yes or no to accept. We'll accept. The next step provided by the Evolution CTS, on this particular truck, we need to remove the fuse for the radio system. So we're gonna head to our owner's manual, locate the radio or audio system fuse, and pull it out. We've pulled our radio fuse, so we're ready to continue with the process. We'll touch the screen, and the programmer is beginning to load the file onto our vehicle's computer. You might see some lights flashing, some doors locking and unlocking. This is normal behavior as the tune file is being written to the vehicle's computer. Follow the instructions as they appear on the screen. Right now we're being instructed to turn the key to the off position and touch the screen once we've done that. Turn the key to the on position and touch the screen to continue. 
So we'll turn our key on and we'll touch the screen. The Evolution has loaded the new tune file and created a backup of the original tune file that came on the truck from the factory. We're now being asked if we wanted to create a custom tune and we're gonna choose no. We're just gonna use the tune file provided by Edge. Now the Evolution is going through and programming the computer. Now it's telling us to turn the key off and touch the screen once we've turned it off. Turn the key to the on position and touch the screen. Now we get a message, programming is complete. It's also notifying us that if we experience shifting issues, to go in and use the transmission relearn option specific to GM vehicles. Touch the screen to continue. Now we have an indicator that we are on racing level one. From this menu, you can flash any of the tune files that you wish. If you need to go back to stock, just click stock and again, follow the menu prompts. We'll go back to our main menu and we're going to adjust a couple of the gauges on the home screen. We'll go to our options menu. We'll touch screen layout. Here we have the ability to choose one of the preset gauge layouts, two, four, six, and eight, or the analog gauge screen that has gauges that look like the normal needle gauges on your truck. We're gonna stick with the analog gauge screen. Now we're going to select what information is displayed on the three analog style gauges. From the home screen, we can touch the different gauges and select what parameters we want to be displayed. For now, we're gonna leave engine coolant temperature over here. We'll leave boost pressure over here, but since we have a speedometer on our truck, we're gonna change out this gauge. Touch the gauge. Choose select new PID. This is where you'll see all the different options for the gauges that you can use on the Edge home screen. We already have engine coolant temperature on the left and turbo boost pressure on the right. So we're gonna scroll through the menu and select something different to display on the center gauge. For now, we're gonna go with engine RPM. This is gonna display precisely how many RPMs our engine's turning. And now you can see that our label has changed from miles per hour to revolutions per minute. Since we have RPMs here, we're gonna change the small digital gauge in the lower left-hand corner to something else. Select new PID, and we'll go with intake air temperature. This is gonna tell us the temperature of the air going into the intake of the motor and our label has changed. It's now telling us that our intake air temperature is 77 degrees. Now we're gonna start up the truck and take a look at the different gauges in action. In real time, we're getting a precise readout of our motor RPMs. We're also getting a precise readout of our intake air temperature. And there you have it for a quick tutorial on how to use the Edge Performance Evolution CTS Programmer, part number, EP85700. If you're concerned with your exhaust gas temperatures, you can add a sensor that will plug into the back of the Evolution and install into the exhaust system of your truck so that you can keep an eye on your exhaust gas temperature. Part number EP98601 and EP98603.